Hey guys, it's Justin and I'm Nick. We have just come out of Ant-Man and the Wasp. So listen up, this is gonna be fun. Just like every other Marvel film, there is an after credit scene. There's actually two. And stay tuned because we'll let you know what they are right now. So the end of the film, after the first lot of credits roll by, we have a scene with Hank and Scott and Janet and Hope. And they are on the top of a building somewhere and they've actually shrunk down the technology that they had in the lab in their car now. Yeah, so Quantum Tunnel's gonna let um, Scott Lang go into the um, quantum realm, yep. get some healing material, and then he'll come out and they'll all be happy, except... He can't come out yet, because something's happened. Yes, guess I what? Think far, far away, somewhere on that planet, has happened. Yes, it's, it's exactly as you would have thought. We have an Infinity War reference, and it's that damn snap when he snapped those big fat fingers. Thanos has ruined Scott Lang's day. Has. Oh. Yeah, and, and, and he's stuck. He's now stuck in the quantum realm. He can't get out because the people that are outside have actually disappeared into dust. And you see the dust, and you know that it's the Thanos dust. You know, I'm going to tell you something right now. Mm -hmm. Marvel stole this idea from DC. Yeah. yeah, okay, so comic nerds out there, listen up because you're going to feel happy. Yeah. Guess what? The Atom. Now, he's, yes. you may know him from Legends of Tomorrow, but in yes. the comics, Ray Palmer shrinks to the quantum realm and can't come out. Yeah. And another um, Ryan show, the other Atom has to go and rescue him. Correct. Now we have a dangerous situation. How will Scott Lang get out of the quantum realm while all of this is happening? I mean, how are you going to, is this what Infinity War is building to? Heroes in Peril? Now, I think I know. Janet, just before he went in there, mentioned something about time. Mm. So I don't remember the exact quote that she said, but I have a feeling that he's going to be freaking around with some tech while he's in there. And I have a feeling he's actually going to back in time because I've seen sad footage and Cap is on set, everyone's on set, but they were in the in their Avengers the first Avengers costumes but Airman's there so I think that after he after he can't get out he actually does a thing and breaks something and ends up going back in time well it's gonna be interesting to see how Scott Lang gets out of this and I have a feeling that now that we have an explanation about why Scott Lang was in Infinity War now we gotta figure out where in the hell is Hawkeye I mean oh yeah well, Hawkeye is still just at his house and hanging out with his family. You think the FBI agent stopped by, like, Hawkeye's house, probably went to, like, uh, He probably, off. just like Coulson in the original movies, he's probably going between each house. They'll we'll have, like, a, a, a day in the life of, um, of that FBI guy, and we'll see him go to all the different people that are being captured by... Future Marvel DVD extra? I mean, they used to do that. Yes, they should. Anyway... That was the end credit sequence. There's also one at the end, at the far end, and it's just got the big end doing the drumming again with no one in the house. But that's, eh, it's good to know, well, but you don't have to you could wait say around. Was, you could say it was If you need ant to go to the bathroom just after wait, 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 uh, I yeah. got the grip. Yeah. You could say it's anti-climatic. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. I am so sorry. I thought it was, Justin, come back. I'm sorry.